We are back with the next installment of the Understanding the Unit series, and in this video, we are going to be talking about the anti-tank gun. If you are a new player in Warpath, you are definitely gonna wanna stick around for this video. Welcome back guys. As I said in the intro, this video is going to be dedicated to the anti-tank gun. We are going to be talking about the pros and cons and exactly what role the anti-tank gun plays within Warpath and then also some potential officers that you might consider putting on your anti-tank gun. If you guys learned something from this video, if you guys get some value from this video, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Both of those things help the channel and the video out tremendously. Let's try to get this video to at least 100 likes. Now let's jump in and start talking about the anti tank gun. So right out of the gate, the most simple explanation I can possibly give for the anti-tank gun is this thing is an absolute menace when it comes to base defense, especially against tank units. The anti-tank gun was created for one thing and one thing only, and that was armor penetration against enemy armored units. So things like the light tank, the medium tank, the tank hunter, the super heavy tank, the anti-tank gun eats every single one of those units up and spits them out. The anti-tank gun has got the most amount of penetration depth and damage of any unit in Warpath. Again, it is geared towards mainly base defense. However, it does have an AA mode feature that you can utilize in the open field. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later in this video, but the main draw and the main focus of the anti-tank gun is going to be the damage it can dish out against tank units, while defending your base in garrison mode. So if we take a look at the anti-tank gun in the baseline stats of the 7.2 version of the anti-tank gun, again, this is no parts, no modifications, no unit upgrades in any form or fashion, just the baseline stats. The anti-tank gun has 351 millimeters of penetration depth. Now, if we take a look at the 7.2 baseline version of the Super Heavy, which the Super Heavy is the biggest, beefiest, thickest armored unit in the game, the, the Super Heavy in its baseline form has 246 millimeters of armor. So that anti-tank gun can do more penetration than even the Super Heavy has armor. So when I say the anti-tank gun absolutely chews up tank units and spits them out, I'm not kidding. It absolutely rips through tank units. Now, of course, the officers that you have on it are certainly going to play a role in that and help and the level of the unit and the parts of the unit and the modifications of the unit. All of those things are, of course, going to play into the effect of the anti-tank gun. But when you do have it maxed out, or even just in general, but especially as you continue to level it up and once you ultimately get it fully maxed out, this thing is an absolute workhorse of a unit. Now, the Con or the drawback of the anti-tank gun is it is very niche, right? It does extremely well against tank units, but it doesn't really do a whole lot of anything against infantry units, for example. It doesn't really do much against artillery units. It is very much geared towards doing one thing and one thing only, and that is killing tanks. Now I wanna show you guys real quick how to actually utilize the anti-tank gun in AA mode in the open field. So all you have to do is take it out of your base, whether it's in an army group or whether you're individually controlling the unit, Wherever you want to place it into anti-tank or anti-aircraft mode, all you've got to do is click the anti-aircraft button here and it will automatically go into anti-aircraft mode. Now you can't move it anywhere while it is in anti-aircraft mode. You've got to switch back to ground mode and then you can transport it wherever you want accordingly. Now the other thing to note, the anti-tank gun can't be in anti-aircraft mode while garrisoned in your base. That is a feature that I wish they would add. I don't know why it's not accessible already in the game, but you can only go into anti-aircraft mode with the AA gun while in the open field. Now your base does have an AA fire base of its own, but the anti-tank gun specifically can only go into anti-aircraft mode when in the open field. Now, just another quick little side note, a tidbit of information. The light tank also has an anti-aircraft mode that it can utilize both while garrisoned in your base and in the open field. I've done a testing video on this, so if you guys have not checked that out already, I would highly suggest you guys do. But I did a testing video where I compared the effectiveness of the light tank anti-aircraft mode against the effectiveness of the anti-tank gun anti-aircraft mode in the open field, and the anti-tank gun anti-aircraft was far superior to the light tank. Like it was head and shoulders better than the light tank. So the anti-aircraft mode 
is super, and I mean super effective against enemy Air Force units, especially when it's out in the open field. Now let's talk about a couple of officers that you guys can really benefit from if you have them on your anti-tank gun. These are, there's a bunch of different combos that you guys can use in regards to officers, but these are gonna be a couple of really high-end officers that will benefit you pretty, pretty greatly on the anti-tank gun. So Golden Eagle, for starters, is going to be just an all-around monster officer, but specifically on the anti-tank gun, he is a very valuable officer. He does a baseline damage coefficient of 1500 and where he really starts to add some additional value especially to the anti-tank gun is if you read the second part of that for every 100 millimeters of armor thickness an enemy has the skill deals additional damage damage coefficient of 80 so you're just stacking on damage coefficient there especially when we're talking about armor on tanks. His second skill increases the damage this officer's troop deals to tanks and helicopters. So again, it's just adding to the potency of the anti-tank gun and what it can do against tank units. Another really, really beneficial officer on the anti-tank gun is going to be Argent Flame. Now, there is a multitude of reasons why he is so good, one of them being his first skill. When he is attacking an enemy unit, he can also deal damage to up to three ground force troops within one map grid of the target. If he's also the captain on that unit he is going to increase the skill damage of his aid officer by 25 percent which is just going to make it even more devastating another big draw that argent flame is going to have increases the damage of your officer's troop by 35 percent when garrisoned in your base now those are just a couple of potential combinations you can use there are a bunch of different combos and officers that really make a lot of sense on the anti-tank gun depending on the role that you're actually wanting it to play and how effective you're wanting it to be but those are a couple of really really good high-end officers that would pair really really, really well with your anti-tank gun if that is a unit that you really want to invest heavily in. That's going to pretty much wrap us up for the video, guys. It's not going to be a long video. I just wanted to get to the point. I wanted to give you guys the main focus of the anti-tank gun, the different roles that it can play, and also what officers are going to be an asset to that unit specifically. If you guys have made it this far into the video and you guys are not already in our community Discord server, if you have access to Discord, the link to our community Discord server is going to be in the description of the video below. Click on that link. It'll take you right into the community Discord server. Whether you're a new player and want to learn some more, have questions, whether you're a veteran player and just want to come hang out with people in the community, doesn't matter. Absolutely everybody is welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me on the video today, guys, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.